So, just another quick video based on a question about batch analyzing of online tracks. And that's actually a pretty interesting problem. So let's dig into that. Let's first talk about analyzing, because what does analyze do in Visual DJ? Well, it's all about getting the length, the BPM, and the key of each track. So as you can see, these are already analyzed. But if I build a filter here, uh, not analyzed, I've built it uh, like this, simply scanned equals zero, so false, if you will. So that shows all the ones that are not analyzed, so they're missing some of these things. Um, and of course, then you can mark it, and you can tell it to batch analyze it, and it will really fast, because it actually does uh, parallel analyzing for as many cores as you have, it, as you have in your CPU, uh, but one, one is left over for the actual rest of the software. So that's how you will normally do it. Uh, and you can actually also uh, enable analyze and view. So this thing, so that simply starts analyzing everything that's not analyzed when you when it bumps into it, right? So that's really, really, really fast here uh, on the local tracks and on the specific laptops. And there's also a couple of things that's probably not how they should be, like you can see right here. So that was about the regular analyzing on the local tracks, like we know here. But what about the online tracks? Because they may be missing stuff too. So now I've been able, I've enabled this automatic analyzing on view. But if I go into, uh, for instance, uh, IGJ pool, which I have a license for or a subscription for, and go in here. And if I can find something that's not analyzed, I don't know if that's possible. This doesn't have the keys. It doesn't start analyzing them. Uh, so analyze and view doesn't work for online content. And why is that? Well, that's because to analyze it, you actually have to download it, right? So if I download this track, uh, it'll analyze it when it, when it gets it. So uh, now it has the key of this track too. And uh, that's all well and fine, but can you then batch that? Sort of, but that's when the problem shows up because if you if you have to analyze this track, Virtual DJ of course needs all the information in the track, so it basically have to download the entire track, and uh, that 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 may not work because uh, it'll it'll seem like a mass downloader. So the content provider will most likely blo uh, block that if we just started mass downloading tracks to analyze them. So that's why it's been limited inside Virtual DJ, so you won't bump into the uh, the limitations done by the content provider, uh, because they might actually block your account, right? Uh, we don't really know what they're gonna do, but they might do something. Uh, so that's very natural that even if I put it in here, and I, I can certainly mark them, and I can tell it to batch down, uh, analyze them, and it'll actually start, but then there's actually limits put into this. So right now I'm using the IDJ pool and that's really slow. So if I do it on this one, uh, we're not gonna wait for it. You see it analyzed the first one and then it just stops. And I actually tested it and uh, for, uh, for IDJ pool, this one, it waits about two minutes between each track. So that's a long time and we're not gonna wait for that. So let me just restart Virtual DJ to get out of it. So now it stopped trying to analyze it. Um, and it's the same thing. I've also signed up for Deezer. So let's try finding some tracks that we wanna, uh, wanna mass analyze here. These are already analyzed, but it doesn't matter. We can still batch them and analyze them. So batch, analyze, and we'll do the first one. And for Deezer, it'll also wait about two minutes before it starts the next one. So you can say it simply says, uh, one task queued, and then it's two minutes before it starts the next one. And again, this is uh, something implemented by Virtual DJ, uh, so we don't bump into the limitations that are put in by the content providers. Again, we're not going to wait for that, so we'll just restart it. And then there's the uh, third one that I'm actually signed up for is Tidal. So let's just take something from Tidal, like playlist maybe, these things, and they're also already analyzed, uh, but we can still mass analyze them. So that that's actually an, uh, a, uh, an interesting thing, of course, that much, a lot of this stuff comes pre-analyzed. So you don't really need to do it, but of course these can be wrong. And uh, you also want 
often bumps into some that are not there. For instance, in this playlist, there are two that are not analyzed, that we haven't got the information on. What are lots that have them? So that'll differ. But uh, on title, again, we can just analyze them, even though they're already analyzed, uh, just to uh, see what it does. So on title, it's actually a lot faster. So if I go into batch and analyze for BPM, it analyzes the first one, just like the two others, but then it only waits for about 10 seconds before it analyzes the next one. So for, for, for title, it's actually usable to batch analyze online tracks, I would say. 10 seconds, if you just let it cook, if you will, that'll be usable if you have a couple hundred tracks, right? So probably, maybe. So, uh, so that's why it does this. It's to not be blocked by the content provider because this looks exactly like a, a mass downloader, which of course they don't want to support, uh, just scraping all the tracks from their, from their system, right? Uh, so can you do anything? Well, actually in most cases, um, just let, uh, close this one as well. Oh, well, that's actually almost done. So let's just let it run. But uh, in most situations, like if we go back to Deezer, just grab something. Um, it'll be much faster to simply load the tracks. One by one. Just wait for them to download and analyze. Then wait for two minutes. And of course, you can actually do Fordex. And then you have more places to drop. So you can kind of do more at once. Like this. But again, that's a bit of work, right? So, and not really nice. And you, again, you want to be careful. You may bump into a limitation with the content provider. So be careful. If it uh, just stops, then maybe wait for a while to make sure you don't get blocked by a content provider. So can you automate this kind of uh, behavior? Yeah, let me just go back to two decks. So yeah, I've actually created a, a couple here. So I've done a, a repeat starter. So let's just go to the top here. Uh, this thing. So repeat start and then just the name and it waits for 10 seconds and then it loads the next track. And since loading the next track will analyze it, um, then uh, that, that's an auto download and analyzer. This will stop at 100, but since it's just load next, it'll actually start over. So you might want to monitor it. So it'll do a max of 100, but it'll just go over and over the, your playlist if it's less than 100. So you also want to implement a stop button. So release stop, same name, my loader. So let's see what it does when it runs. Just stand at the top here and then repeat start. And it downloads the, tra downloads the track. And 10 seconds and then move to the next track. And you can't really see that it's not analyzed. So let's grab a list that's not analyzed. Stop this one. So just grab something here. If I can find something that's not analyzed. That's all analyzed. We'll just do a search. So here are some tracks that are not analyzed and we beat them. So it downloads and it analyzes. It waits 10 seconds. It downloads the next one. Analyzes, waits just a few more seconds, analyzes the next one, and so on and so forth. So you can use this kind of script to do it, but again, be very carefully not bump, bump, to not bump into the limit uh, of this particular content provider. So that's a, that's a way to do it if you really want. Of course, I'm going to put these scripts in the video description so you can go grab them. Just be careful with using them, right? So I'll stop it again. But like I said, I only signed up for Deezer, Tidal, and... Uh, IGD pool at the minute, and Tidal tends to wait for about 10 seconds between each track. Deezer and IGD pool uh, tends to wait for two minutes bet between each track. And that's, like I said, actually limits put in by, by Virtual DJ or by Atomics into Virtual DJ to make sure that we don't bump into the real limits made by the content provider. So this was just a, a little bit about uh, batch analyzing online tracks, why it doesn't really work out of the box, uh, why the limitations have been put in, and what you can do to get the analysis, uh, analysis uh, even with these limitations, and 
just a very important point, most of the tracks will already be analyzed by the content provider. So it's not, it tends not to be that big of a problem, but if you bump into a lot of tracks in the play playlist uh, that are not analyzed and you want to do this, you can maybe use the scripts.